Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we're starting to examine some cranial nerves. Uh, the first cranial nerve we should examine this today is the fourth cranial nerve. What they call the fourth cranial nerve? Trochial nerve. Trochial nerve. Trochial nerve. A trochial nerve is the fourth cranial nerve supplying which muscle? Superior oblique muscle. Okay, how to examine the cranial nerve? The cranial nerve, uh, we, we examine the right cranial nerve now, right eye cranial nerve. This is the way to examine the cranial nerve. Tibet. Okay, we ask the patient to look on my hand, my finger, then we bring his right eye to the, to the nose and we put it down. This is the way to, for, to examine the fourth cranial nerve on the right side. The eye being taken to the nose by the middle rectus muscle, and then down by the superior oblique muscle. The left cranial nerve, in this way to be examined, bringing the left eye, this is the left eye to the nose, and then down. Okay, this is the way to examine the fourth cranial nerve. And this is the way to examine both cranial nerve. Look, concentrate on my finger, then down. Okay? down. You see that fold? Fold in, in, in the lower eyelid is the action of superior oblique muscle. The fourth cranial nerve is the action is looking down while you go down in the, in the stair. If you get paralyzed of the fourth cranial nerve, if you go down, you will get double vision. Okay. And you get two steps in front of you, a false and true steps. If you put your foot on the false step, you will, you will get a cramp and you will get falling. That's what, that's why if, if you, uh, the only solution to this problem is to closing the disease eye and you go down. That's the fourth cranial nerve. 